Multiple lines of research providing overwhelming evidence indicate that chloridane and hepachlor and or their metabolites, hepachloroxide and oxychloridane, are the main risk factors for insulin resistance and diabetes. For greater details and references, see companion YouTube video. Hepachlor and chloridane were produced only in the United States. <clears throat> Next to Mexico, the United States has the highest rates of insulin resistance and diabetes in the world. Technochloridane was developed after World War II by, by chance. Technochloridane is a mixture of highly toxic and carcinogenic chemicals, heptachlor and chloridane. Agricultural uses began in the late 1940s and treatment of homes for termites began soon after. Chloridane and heptachlor were banned in the United States in 1974 for agricultural uses and in 1988 for residential termite treatment. EPA has determined that over 30 million homes and millions of acres of cropland were treated. Chloridane and heptachlor are highly chlorinated compounds with half-life in soil of 20 to 30 years. Inhaled chloridane and heptachlor are converted to oxychloridane and hepachloroxide by the liver and accumulates in the body fat over time. Best call continued production until 1997 for exports. Numerous large national epidemiological studies indicate that hepachloroxide and oxychloridane in serum are the main risk factors for diabetes and insulin resistance. Three different investigations using data from three different surveys conducted in the United States showed that oxychloridane in participant serum increased the risk of diabetes from 260 to 660 percent. Two investigations using recent national surveys measuring serum levels of hepachloroxide revealed that hepachloroxide and oxychloridane increased the risk of diabetes more than all other assessed chemicals. In the second study, hepachloroxide had the highest risk of diabetes among the 266 environmental factors tested. Oxychloridane in serum has an even higher associated risk with insulin resistance increasing the risk by 870%. As in diabetes, increased body weight without oxychloridane did not increase the risk of insulin resistance. However, body weight as measured by waist circumference did interact with oxychloridane to increase the risk of insulin resistance. The risk of insulin resistance was three times greater in participants with the highest weight circumference as compared to the lowest. The investigators stated that, quote, chloridane may be the most important persistent organic pollutant involved in the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes by influencing insulin resistance. The increase in insulin resistance diabetes in the United States matches treatment of millions of homes with technochloridane for termites and exposure of occupants to hepachlor and chloridane in the air of treated homes. Since the late 1950s, the percentage of Americans with diabetes has skyrocketed by tenfold, 1,000%. The EPA reported exposure to heptachlor and chloridane are up to 20 times higher from breathing the air of the average chloridane treated home as compared to the average diet. I tested the air in 150 homes nationwide from 2005 to 2009 and found that the average indoor air concentration to be 10 times higher than the levels considered safe, minimum risk levels, published by the Centers for Disease Control. The concentration in 3 million homes most contaminated with chloridane would be greater than 60 time, 50, 65 times the minimum risk level. Body burdens of hepachloroxide and oxychloridane increase the age with age and matches age-related increase in prevalence of insulin resistance and diabetes. Levels of hepachloroxide and oxychloridane in Americans' fat increase with age on the left and mimic the age-related increase in diabetes, graph on right. Rates of termite infestation and home termite treatment in the South matches hepachloroxide and oxychloridane levels in fat and the prevalence of insulin resistance and diabetes by United States region. Similarities 
are apparent between the rates of termite infestation and chloridane treatment, top, and the prevalence of diabetes, bottom. The lower rates of diabetes in Florida, Georgia, and California as compared to chloridane treatment map is probably due to the higher rates of immigration in those states. The correspondence between these maps indicate that treatment of homes for termite infestation with chloridane is a major risk factor for diabetes. The levels of hexafluoride in Americans' fat right and oxychloridane in Americans in mother's milk fat left from individuals in the South are up to two to three hundred percent other regions of the United States, and corresponds to chloridane treatment of homes for termites. Hepchloropoxide induces nitric oxide production and cellular damage by human immune cells. Nitric oxide is a lipophilic oxidant that causes insulin resistance and diabetes. Oxidants, especially nitric oxide represented here by NO, plays a pivotal role in desensitizing insulin effects on glucose uptake in muscle and fat cells resulting in insulin resistance. Nitric oxide also causes cellular damage in pancreatic beta cells, lowering insulin synthesis, leading to diabetes. 